What's up, everybody? In this video, I'm going to share some items that I received from two kind individuals. Um, one of them, a big supporter of the channel that hit me up on Instagram and let me, let me know that he had an item that he wanted to send my way. It's a double of a cool figure that he had that he wanted to share with me. And then he said he would um, throw in something else. Then he hit me up yet again and he explained a situation that was going to allow him to send me yet another item. And I'll talk about all of that when I get to it. Um, he actually did send, I see um, a letter here at the top of the box, which I did go ahead and read um, and I'm not going to share it aloud just now because it does talk about one of the figures I'd rather just go ahead and show it to you but I definitely do appreciate his kind words and including him you know um, wishing me well for this upcoming year here and I definitely do appreciate that but let me go ahead and jump right to the item that Rev Noel sent here and uh, Rev Noel big shout out to you for being so kind and sending these items my way I truly do appreciate it so the first item here you know based on the shape of the box you probably can tell that this is a soda figure like i said this was a double for him i don't even have um this figure like at all i haven't um tried for this one at all so i haven't gone for the common or the chase i don't have either one of those um in my collection so this was ten thousand pieces here for um bat mite which you know now that i think about it it's kind of funny that he just sent this my way because if you watch the um peacemaker show you know that there is a line about um, bat mite there that's kind of well a couple of lines about bat mite that are kind of interesting so yeah peacemaker is actually a pretty good series so far and he actually sent me here the chase okay so this is pretty cool here so you see the chase paul going on it says alternate suit bat mite so yeah the common there is the blue and gray i think that the chase is predominantly black yeah it's, it's more like the um animated series colors and of course you know in some of the comics he has his colors as well <laughs> yeah that's a pretty cool figure there bat mite so i don't know i might end up getting the common too i kind of like to see the um you know the sets together basically for the sodas the chase and the non-chase so yeah i might end up getting that but yeah that's pretty cool there he sent another uh batman item here let me um okay it says Rub rubik's um so so it's like a rubik's cube batman i've never seen this before so i guess it actually comes in to different pieces yeah i've never seen one of these before that's pretty interesting um and right now, honestly, I want to leave it in the packaging. I actually do like the look of the packaging, but it is kind of interesting that you can kind of play around with his uh, design there, I guess. Yeah, I've never seen one of these before. If you've ever seen these before, definitely let me know about that. Um, I do kind of wonder now if they got some other characters and whatnot, and like, where would you find these at? I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Everything that he sent me here is actually related to Batman, but this next item is just... It's it's crazy to me and I'm definitely gonna have to explain uh, you know why he was able to uh, send this my way and it's still amazing that you know he did this here okay so check this out we actually have um, from you know based off the Dark Knight Returns here of course we have Batman riding a horse now if you know the comic then you know this image here of course very classic image at this point and so much great detail to this it looks really awesome and so one of the details i noticed right away is like how the cape is kind of dirtied up and everything because i mean this batman he really went through a lot in the comic you know he definitely got kind of rough and dirty and all of that so yeah that looks pretty awesome and this is actually by um dc collectibles which i was just talking to a friend about how i'm already starting to kind of miss dc collectibles i mean that that company as far as making you know making collectibles actually um went under so uh yeah so they're not making anything new of course and i mean you can still find the statues in like comic book shops and whatnot but uh yeah they're, they're starting to get to be a little bit tougher to find so this is uh let me go ahead and move this some so you can see it here a call to arms batman there and again by dc collectibles and i actually need to check um, I know that the site was actually still up and they were still selling off some things. I don't know if it's still going on or not, though. I might need to check that out and see if they have anything left. Yeah, what happened is, okay, so he ordered this, I want to say from, I think he said Big Bad Toy Store. I could be wrong about that. But he said he ordered this and then he got it and it had a broken tail. So he let the company know. 
and um, they were willing to send him a replacement and they told him to go ahead and keep the broken one, which I think that's awesome that they did that. Some companies will actually just ask you to send back the broken item and it's like, you know, they're not going to do anything with that. So yeah, that's very cool that they just, you know, offered to send him a replacement. So he sent me the one with the broken tail and I was able to basically fix the tail. It's not a perfect fix here because of the weight of the tail like for a while it was sitting perfectly but the weight of the tail just keeps bringing it down so i mean it's not going to be completely flush which does not bother me at all it's not like i'm staring at the horse's tail you know and also because of the way it's designed i think the tail kind of rests a little bit on the rock back there um so yeah as long as the tail stays in place i'm fine with that you know it does not bother me at all i think that's an amazing statue there and on the back of the box here you see they had this one with um batman and killer croc that's one i've had my eyes on as well so if i ever find that at a decent price I'm, i think i'm gonna go for that one i still just cannot believe that you know i was able to get this awesome statue because like i said he did have that misfortune of the tail being broken at first but i'm really glad that he was able to get a replacement and yeah this is an amazing looking statue so again Revno thank you so much for your kindness very cool statue here I especially like the big bat logo on this particular Batman so yeah very awesome the next box that I have here next to me and I actually already opened up the top of it this comes from my friend Robert Kinzel he is also a youtuber as well and we've been friends for a good while I actually don't even know how long it's been now it's been a couple years now I think at this point but yeah, he's, he's a very cool individual and we just kind of look out for each other. So um, he wanted to send me like something kind of belated Christmas, basically. And um, we're just going to go ahead and get into it here. He does have paper over the top. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side. I do see a card here and it, oh, it actually has a, um, a Rengoku button on it. Oh, it says there, set your heart ablaze. Yeah, so he knows I'm a big Rengoku fan. So that is pretty cool there. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere to um, put this button, and I'm I'm patiently waiting. I know that um, a Funko Pop or a couple of Funko Pops are forthcoming for this character, so I'm just patiently waiting. I know what's gonna happen at some point this year. Okay, so yeah, this is actually a Christmas card here. Mary, uh, let me open that up. Oh, he sent a gift card too. Wow. Okay, um, cherish the gift of Christmas for it is the great the greatest gift of all. Okay. So, very nice looking card there. I had no idea he actually sent um, a gift card as well. So, I will have to check with him to see what the actual amount is. But, yeah, very sweet looking Hot Topic card there. That's awesome. I, yeah, didn't expect that. So, already I'm pretty surprised there. Um, one thing here, let me go and show you this. He also sent this soda. So, this is my first zombie Captain America. I'm saying my first because I know I pre-ordered a couple um i don't even know how many i pre-ordered but i pre-ordered a couple so yeah we'll see what happens Twelve thousand five hundred pieces yeah zombie cap of course it would be nice to get the chase and i think the chase is glow in the dark if i'm not mistaken i'm actually going to save this I'll, I'll open this up last here let me go and show you what else he sent my way now i knew this pop was on the way that he had uh pre-ordered this for me so we have doctor strange supreme the amazon exclusive and it is glow in the dark so yeah, we may have to check the glow on this particular figure. I think I will get that one opened up. Let me go ahead and show you what else he sent here. Um, we have a notebook here, <laughs> which uh, check out the cover, Wakanda Forever. That's cool, and it has like litter on the front, and it's kind of a chibi style Black Panther there. So, yeah, that is pretty awesome. And I'm actually, I might actually get some use out of this notebook. I really, um, I've been wanting to get back into writing. Like I used to write poetry on a regular basis, not so much lately, so, um, but um, it would be very nice to get back into it. Um, I see a couple of eggs floating around here. I think these might be some um, Demon Slayer figures that um, he sent me some of these before. And um, I'm trying to think of what character, what all characters I got. I got a lot of the characters actually, a lot of the main characters. Let's just go ahead and see what else we have here. Okay, this character, um, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but I know he's heavily featured in the current arc, the um, Entertainment District, I think is the name of it. Not sure how I feel about him right now. He's a very flashy, flamboyant um, character, but maybe they'll get to a point where they add some depth to the character. We'll see. Okay, but uh, his design is pretty cool, though. And that's a pretty uh, cute likeness there of him. 
we got another member of um i believe this is a member of the hashira here if i'm not mistaken he's got a snake around his neck though like can't remember him too much um i'm still really learning some of those characters some of the hashira characters does he have a stand as well seems like it's supposed to be over here but oh there it is the stand is so small like you could actually really overlook it so i don't feel so bad about overlooking them previously but yeah let me make sure i get him set up and i'm sure somebody will tell me the name of these uh character you know the names of these characters in the comments i really like his eyes his eyes look pretty cool there and yeah he's got that white snake around his neck kind of a creepy looking character i mean you would think that he's a villain i mean <laughs> just to look at him but uh yeah, like I said, I think he's part of the Hashira, if I'm not mistaken. Even with the stands, those guys don't want to stand up too well right now, but I'll, I'll get them straightened out later on. Um, another item here, I actually forgot about this. I remember him sending me um, images of this, but yeah, I let it slip my mind, but he went ahead and grabbed this for me. This is pretty cool as well. So um, again, it's focusing on Black Panther, but you see that this is... Um, basically like a grooming set for men i guess you would say it has the deodorant shower gel shampoo and conditioner now you know i could keep this almost like as a keepsake but now nah, i'm probably actually going to use the things here it says wakanda herbs i think that's pretty cool um but yeah that's a pretty awesome looking set he probably got this um at his job he works at a place that would have something like this that is pretty cool i, I really do like this set here so yeah, another very cool Black Panther item and something unique for sure. Oh, he also sent me here. These are pretty good, of course. York Peppermint Patties. Definitely a fan of those. I tell you, it's pretty awesome when you get things from friends and they just, they know you. They, they know you well, so they know the things you're into. And we have a pop here as well. I'm not sure if I remember what this is supposed to be or not. Uh, let's see if it can come on out. I could tell it's a newer pop based off of the way the barcode is at the bottom. Oh, yeah, I'd been waiting on this. So, yeah, um, he did tell me that he had received this. This is the Glow in the Dark um, Day of the Dead Bane. So, uh, you know, it's an Entertainment Earth exclusive. So, got two Glow in the Dark pops here. So, that definitely means I'm going to have to check the glow on them. Before I get to those, though, I might as well go ahead and see um, whether or not I got the chase of the zombie Captain America. And if it's not the chase, that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm glad to have the figure regardless. I really do like the design of zombie Captain America. I'm not going to peek at the Paul Gachi, go and get the figure out because it's new for me regardless. Even if it is just, you know, the um, common, that's cool. It's still, you know, new for me. And I just thought about it, you know, because it is glow in the dark. I don't think I'd be able to tell right away. Like some people can look at a figure and actually figure out whether or not it's glow in the dark. I can't always tell, to be honest, especially with the soda. But man, the detail looks so good on this. I do like the dirtied up shield and everything and all the different rips and the bones exposed like just really good detail with this figure so I'm very happy to finally have it okay and checking the pog here this is the common but like I said that's fine because I ain't going to be trying for the chase again I do like that artwork there as well I will be trying for the chase again pretty soon the glow for pops actually shows up way better as still images so um you know, I'll show you the pops here, of course, and I'll try to take a good, you know, snapshot, basically, of what the glow looks like for each one of these. Um, as far as Day of the Dead is concerned, of course, it made a lot of sense for them to do Bane because of, um, you know, his heritage, his background and everything. Thought that was a great idea. And, of course, you know, because of the mask that he already wears. And I like how they had this snake design going on there. Yeah, this is a very cool looking figure. Now, with the Bing Bang, you know, they probably could have tried to make him even larger because it is possible to put a, a nice size pop inside of a regular pop box. So I think they could have made him even larger, but, you know, still, he works regardless. <laughs> like how they have all the hair up around his arms, too, as well. Although, um, that's kind of a strong break there on the arm. I'm not so crazy about the way that looks. I wish they didn't have such a strong break there. But yeah, that's kind of nitpicking. Overall, this is a pretty cool looking figure. I really do like the colors on it. And it's, um, you know, it's not like a shiny paint job or anything. It wouldn't make sense for it to be a shiny paint job. So I'm glad it has these kind of, you know, matte colors to it. It just, it looks natural, like the way that it should be for this type of outfit. So yeah, this is a pretty cool Bane. And I think this one is still available. Again, that's the Entertainment Earth exclusive. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still available. This version of Doctor Strange is actually going to be pretty important for the MCU. Like, if you've seen 
the um trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, then yeah, you know this version of Strange is pretty significant. And um, yeah, I really like the the purple shading around the eyes. Just you know, subtle things about him, the design of him lets you know that something is not quite right. Like this is not quite that Doctor Strange that we're so you you know we're used to. And of course, he's referred to as Doctor Strange Supreme. So a lot of potential there. It's going to be very interesting to see. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch, his acting in that next movie because, yeah, he's got some challenging, he's got some challenges basically going on with what they have planned. So we'll see how it works out. Well, I like the cape, how the cape is, you know, just the black and sort of gold. I don't even know if you would call that gold necessarily, but yeah, the black and gold on the back basically, and then the purple and gold on the inside. I like that. That's a pretty cool look. So, yeah, I really do like the look of this particular figure here and. That movie should be a pretty awesome movie. Um, I know they're holding back a lot of things right now because I'm sure the movie's going to have a lot of surprises, but I just cannot wait to check that movie out. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you think about the items that I got here. And again, Rev Noel and Robert, thank you so much for your kindness. Um, th this is just really awesome. I know both of these guys consider these like um, belated Christmas gifts, but... You know, it, and they both kind of apologize for getting them late. You know, guys, you don't have to apologize. Not at all. It's just very kind of you to send these awesome items my way, regardless of what time of year it is. It doesn't even matter. Um, just very cool of you. And, um, yeah, thank you so much, you all, for taking the time to check out this video as well. Um, I'm not really sure when my next unboxing is coming up because I'm, I'm kind of waiting for some pre-orders to come in. I'm not really getting out doing too much hunting right now especially because the way the weather is right now so yeah I'm, I'm just waiting to see what happens with pre-orders but i'm really hoping that some of my sodas will come in because i really do enjoy opening up sodas i want to open up some more of those sometime soon but uh yeah just be on the lookout for more content on the channel and of course more funko news coming up as well um, i appreciate you all for taking the time to check this out and i will talk to you all again real soon